So, it's been about a year since I did any uh, Windows 10 or Windows 8 compatibility. Newer games are out now, so I thought I'd uh, check out uh, Wolfenstein The New Order. It's been out for a couple years. And uh, as you can see from this capture, uh, which I'm, by the way, I'm using Bandicam uh, to do the video capture. Uh, the graphics are amazing. Uh, no lag, uh, no nothing, even when running the game and running Bandicam. Now I'm not one of those guys, one of those gamers who liked uh, the multiplayer or multi-team games where there's a lot of little guys running around the screen uh, that I'm controlling uh, uh, them and directing them to do certain things. I'm a basically a first person shooter kind of guy, as you'll be able to tell from this game. I just like to blindly uh, shoot and and uh, kill things. Uh, I like the strategy involved sometimes, like I'm going around here to get a better angle at a shot. Uh, so it would minimize my damage, uh, but uh, it allows me to get uh, in there and uh, use some kind of, like in this case, long range sniping kind of thing uh, to kill and to get uh, get uh, head in the game. And so and Wolfenstein 3D, or excuse me, Wolfenstein the New Order is definitely my kind of game. Now at the time of recording this, I just installed the anniversary update here, so it's got a bunch of patches for other things as well. Uh, so to let you know that, uh, at least for this game, uh, Windows 10, even the newest release, uh, they keep continuing to improve it with uh, more and more uh, compatibility and uh, less problems as far as bug fixes and stuff. And I'll be doing another release on uh, FXX here pretty soon as well, uh, just to show that you can run older games, newer games, uh, pretty much anything, pretty smoothly, on a decent system for uh, Windows and Windows 10. Now, as with most games, uh, you have the little strategies involved in, in this particular one, about uh, which weapon to use for w which thing you're doing. Uh, I have, you know, I tend to go for the more powerful weapon, uh, but sometimes it'd be better to use, like, for example, a close-up shotgun and some. Uh, but right here, as long as it's available, I'm using a Scatling gun type of thing here because it just has a lot of uh, ammo and a lot of firepower to uh, take care of multiple targets, multiple enemies who come up. Uh, but then there's time for that to, uh, to drop that and go in for something else. Uh, for example, coming up here, uh, once I need to get into a tight space, but I need to make a quick kill, so I grab the shotgun, boom, high degree of kill, come over here, uh, oop, I have to reload. I do the same thing, uh, basically, no time for error. And then, if I need to, I can always, uh, after I pick up some armor here, I can always switch back to the other gun if it has, or even to some other uh, gun. But it's always important to choose your uh, right type of gun for the right job. It's also important to look around your environment in case there's some uh, hidden uh, things, uh, uh, weapons and things like that, or uh, places that are uh, resources that are hidden, like uh, armor, uh, things like that. And Wolfenstein the New Order has plenty of that. I'm on regular difficulty, not uh, the easy wimpy one. And there's plenty of um, uh, armor, uh, weapons, uh, ammo, uh, all that kind of stuff is available to you on the regular difficulty. Uh, and of course the ability to shoot something down and get, again, a shotgun in this case was the best to use for this. Uh, as a matter of fact, here's another uh, Gatling gun type of situation where I uh, take a different, uh, different type of uh, hardware uh, and uh, use it. Oh, wait a second, let me go switch back off of this uh, shotgun here. Come over here and grab this. And you'll see that I use a lot more ammo uh, to do the same kind of uh, uh, damage. Now, of course, on this has a longer range, so it has more effectiveness on a longer range item with a shotgun. So again, back and forth, check for uh, type of ammo. In this case, you can recharge in this game um, and recharge your weapon, uh, which I didn't need to there. But uh, throughout this game, you uh, sometimes have to uh, uh, re-energize your weapons in order to give them more uh, uh, power. And then, and then here, in this particular one, you can switch over to a, from a laser to a torch and cut into an open up passageways. So it's a multi-purpose weapon, just like if you had a hand grenade on some weapons, you know, you have a multi-purpose. Um, so again, on Wolfenstein 3D, great first-person shooter, runs great on Windows 10, uh, has plenty of strategy, 
has some really good bad guys to go ahead and uh, um, uh, war with. And uh, I think you'll be very pleased at the performance. Even with an older system, uh, with a moderately uh, priced video card, uh, you can get a uh, great gaming experience. So that's Wolfenstein uh, 3D, or excuse me, again, Wolfenstein The New Order on uh, Windows 10. You know, I think I'll just let this uh, play a little while and uh, crank up the volume again. And so you guys can watch some of the game playing for about a couple minutes. Uh, and you can see uh, how well it performs and how much fun it really is without me talking with it.
Well, there you have it, uh, Wolfenstein, a new order uh, on Windows 10. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you have some other game you'd like me to test under Windows 10, I'll see if I have it in my library, and I'll try to crank out a, uh, a test of it. Uh, but for the most part, you should be pretty safe in uh, Windows 10 and uh, ordering uh, any new games. But even the old ones uh, can usually get them up and running uh, with no real problems. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos. All here to help you make the most out of your system.